<laughs> My name's Kara Claudi. I have this thing, it's pretty cheesy, that I say at shows, Claudi like cloudy with an A instead of an O. It's kind of funny to me, it never occurred to me to write songs until um, I met this guy in high school who's, who's like, oh yeah, I wrote a song. And naturally I had a really good crush on this guy, but I was 14, it was my freshman year of high school, and the song was about the guy, so, so yeah. Literally never even crossed my mind that like there are people that write the songs that I loved and that I could do that too until like that moment in, in my freshman year of high school. But I don't have a super set process, but I would say usually I come up with some kind of chord progression. Um, then, and I, I'll have some idea of the direction that I want the song to go in. Then I'll write the, the lyrics and come back and finish the, the music and arrangement. There have been times where I can sit down and write a song in about two hours. And then there's other times where it's like, I'll take a couple of weeks, like come up with a little chord progression, kind of sit on it, like maybe take it out every couple of weeks and like mess around with it. And, but then not actually write the song that it turns into until like a couple months later. It almost feels like I don't write, I don't write and finish the song until it's ready. And there's like this weird thing for me when I'm writing. Like I really don't feel like it's coming from me. It's like I'm just sort of like feeling out if it's on the right path or not. I don't know. I do the the bar gig scene or the, the quote unquote cover monkey thing. Um, and then I'll also play shows where I'm playing just my own stuff. And I, I definitely approach them differently. For the cover gigs, I'm, I'm really coming from a place where I want people, I want to make people smile. I want them to hear something that, that makes their night being like, oh my gosh, like she played that song that I love and like she put her, a di whole different spin on it and that was awesome. Like that's kind of what I'm going for, and so I play. I'll, I'll play anything. I'll play some '80s and '90s. I'll play uh, kind of mashups of, of stuff, and then I'll play. I'll sneak some of my own songs in there too. Um, but and, and that's been a great way for me to just build relationships with people who, who like what I'm doing, and um, and also with with restaurant owners and, and bar owners who, without them, a lot of us local musicians couldn't, couldn't pay your bills, so <laughs> that's cool. Uh, I play at Public about once a month. Public. Public Draft House. Yeah, I'm in the corner. You can see me from the window if you're walking by the bar. I play a number of, of OTP spots <laughs> about once a month. And I just played Atlanta Winter Beer Fest. And that was the first time I played my guitar out too. <laughs> Just got a pretty fun reception. I played two of my own. Uh, I did this cover of Time After Time with the synth. That was pretty sick. <laughs> oh, I did this mashup of um, What Is Love and uh, Sarah Bareilles' love song. A lot of times I'm playing somewhere that people may not even have expected there to be live music. It's not always the a warm reception. So it's, it trains me to figure out what is it that I can do to captivate that audience. Because when I'm playing a show where it's my own stuff and that's what people expect, that, like that's what they came for, they're pretty open to it. So if I can translate having a really captivating performance in a bar where people really don't care, to when I'm playing a solo show um, and trying to advance my solo career, I, th I think that's a big benefit for me. So yeah, I think I think so. I think I'm grabbing an, I'm grabbing some people, I'm grabbing some fans, doing the the cover stuff. Yeah. Actually, I was so excited because I played Atlanta Summer Beer Fest, and this couple from I think they're from Augusta met me there. And then I looked over at Atlanta Winter, Winter Beer Fest and 
there they were. And they came up to me and they were like, we came specifically to see you. And I thought my heart was gonna burst. I was like, oh my gosh, people are so, I mean, what, it's, it's some people, people care about it enough to come out again. That's like, that's huge for me. Bye. 